Now listen, I've had a theme tune to my life. I like to think it might sound just a bit like this. Yes, that's what I insist on having played every day. I come into floor five here in the BBC. <laughs> it's particularly appropriate for today. But we put the glad rags on uh, because the stars are gathering. Tonight is Oscar night. Joining me on the studio red carpet. Uh, well, it's not actually that red at all. <laughs> it's the always glam Liz Kennedy, a Northern Ireland's uh, premier film critic, Mr Mike Cato. Good to see you both. Question, are this year's Oscars more moral and ethical? This is some of these sequels than you might expect from the dark heart of Hollywood. Here's a reminder of some of this year's main contenders. We got a problem. We pushed the ship too hard. We're off the grid. That means the computer's now offline. Captain. The ship's broken. Captain. No one gets hurt if you don't play no game. You missed your last trial appointment, Ray. Where were you? Do you like this dress? Because I think the neckline's a little plunging. Rayon, the whole purpose of this study is to determine if ACT is helping people. Come on, Evie, you know there ain't no help in me. I'm getting scared. Now we're getting closer. All these years wondering whether Anthony was in trouble or in prison or goodness knows where. But as long as I didn't know, I could always tell myself he was happy somewhere and, and that he was doing all right. Well, boy, how you feel now? My name... My name is Solomon North. I'm a free man, a resident of Saratoga, New York, the residence of my wife and children who are equally free. What can I bring for you on this glorious afternoon? Well, Hector, here's the game plan. You're going to bring us two absolute martinis. You know how I like them, straight up. And then precisely seven and one half minutes after that, you're going to bring us two more. Then two more after that every five minutes until one of us passes out. <laughs> Excellent strategy, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm good with water for now, though. Thank you. It's his first day on Wall Street. Give him time. Well, those are the movies uh, and then sartorial elegance this morning and a charming grey cardigan. Mike, good to see you. <laughs> Liz, with your fur throw and typically stylish little woolen number. Um, this is a cashmere jumper, by the way, Mark. You know, cashmere and fur, good for the Oscars. m and yeah, No, 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 J. Crew. Oh, <laughs> spring collections. Yes. Year Mike, it's a, it's a pretty strong field this year, isn't it? It is. I mean, there are what we call issue films yeah. manage to make it onto the short list and then the final nominations every year but they don't necessarily win all the awards uh, usually if there is in the best actor or uh, actress to use that old fashioned word uh, if there's something to do with a disability like the King's Speech or whatever uh, they, they would win but films that have a big issue around them mm. like this year uh, obviously Philomena obviously 12 Years a Slave, and to a slightly lesser extent, the Dallas uh, Buyers Club, for them to be considered as sort of front runners is itself uh, unusual. It's interesting, this. I mean, does Hollywood have seasons? Because some years it's just a big sort of meaningless blockbusters, but this is moral, ethical stuff, isn't it? I think one of the, the things that Hollywood has realised over the past, really over the past decade, is they've, they've looked at indie movies and they've looked at what works with audiences, they've looked at art house stuff and they've tried to recreate that in a bigger scenario and so you have I mean you had people like the Coen brothers for example and they, they said gosh they're really popular let's do a bit something like that and then they see oh documentaries issue based very popular let's do some of that and I mean in some ways w when we mention Philomena I'd like to mention Steve Coogan because this was Steve's project you know Harvey Weinstein might be pushing it for the Oscars now but Steve pushed to get this film on screen and to make the Martin Sixsmith story which is an incredible Incredible story of Philomena going to try to find her son. I mean, it, it makes my heart break when I think about it. Uh, and Mike, not a car chase or a pyrotechnic in sight, it seems. No, the nearest thing to pyrotechnics, I suppose, would be the fantastic technical stuff in, in gravity. Yes. And, of course, every film that gets put forward creates its own set of issues. It's gravity well, not One being gravity, is it British or is it not? Uh, That's not important. Dallas Buyers Club... 
interesting film, but big controversy that it went for a heterosexual, in a sense, as the central character, rather than a homosexual. I mean, every single one of those films, including Philomena, the thing where even Martin Sixsmith himself said, well, actually, some of the nuns were lovely, uh, creates issues around issues. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you mentioned gravity. And now, the, you know, the, the story is out this morning that NASA is, you know, advising uh, its, its own space people because of the safety issues brought out there, you know. <laughs> So there's a nice little thing thrown in on the day of the Oscars itself, you know. But Mike, is gravity not cheapened because they came out and said, actually, everything you see there, apart from their wee mugs in the helmets, is totally falsified. It's all not cheating. It's film. And actually, gravity is one of the, the purest forms of cinema you could imagine. The nearest thing to it would have been back in 68 when Kubrick did 2001 A Space Odyssey. Mm. People said dialogue wasn't very good. It wasn't about dialogue. Gravity is about pure cinema. We're more concerned this morning, obviously, about, say, moral and ethical issues that do crop up in those films I mentioned, 12 Years a Slave and, and, and so on. And one tends to forget that there's another issue around an issue around an issue, which is that the award season itself has just got bloated beyond belief. With It's not just the Golden Globes, then the BAFTAs and then the Oscars. And the fact that every newspaper is running the bookies uh, odds on these things, it's the fact that there are actually 22 awards between the 1st of December and the beginning of March. And in the middle of all this, some other little films don't make it. I'm glad Philomena has because it's a BBC film, let's fly the flag, sure. but it's also low budget and as Liz rightly said, it's an independent film. But it's great, that's culture, that's great, that's like, that's all happening for, for film. And I think the wonderful thing about Philomena is, I mean, when I went to see it, I just thought yeah, it's a great issue. It's a great story. Um, but it's a little, it's a little movie. It's a little TV movie. But actually, that little TV movie has, you know, we, we've got the whole, the the issue that people were saying it's anti-Catholic. The thing that Weinstein has managed to get the Pope to see it. That the people are having this conversation about what happened to women in Magdalen laundries, what happened to small children in Ireland and elsewhere, of course, but particularly in in Ireland. Mike, does it suggest? Can I put it like this? A corporate hesitation on the part of. Of audiences. Now we know they'll walk in there and the ad ads will be there and they'll eat popcorn and drink Coca-Cola anyway. But as movie goers these days, are we well, a slow to buy the corporate thing, therefore we go to these smaller movies. Well, it's part, it's partly that, but it's partly also just the sheer number of films that are that are being made and are being released, not just in cinemas, but, you know, multi-platform and so on. You mentioned the word documentary earlier. Uh, if you look at the, the films up for documentary, like The Act of Killing and so on, these are legally available to download. Audiences are actually more... They can discern patterns more than they, they, they could in the past. And they will go just as well for a small film as a big film if they think it's good. Five yeah, seconds each. Liz, what are you watching was, tonight? Who's your, who's your winners? Oh, well, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, Philomena for the, the adapted screenplay. Mike? Uh, I'm looking for 12 Years a Slave, in a sense, acting, directing and possibly even uh, best film.